Good morning, children. It is Wednesday, and that means it's story time. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about two of my favorite things, Christmas and dogs. So today is the story called Olive, the Other Reindeer, and it's by J. Otto Siebold and Vivian Walsh. Okay. Every day, Olive took her daily walk, winter, spring, summer, or fall. Today was a winter's day. It was the holidays, and there was music playing outdoors. People were singing along. Olive the other reindeer. Olive was too shy to sing. <laughs> she sang. I mean, she hummed. <laughs> Back at her doghouse, Olive was wrapping presents and listening to the radio. She heard that same song again. Olive the other reindeer went the song. Olive the other reindeer. Olive sang along. Olive the reindeer, said Olive. I thought I was a dog. Hmm, I must be a reindeer. It was that time of year when all the reindeer reported to the North Pole to help Santa Claus. So Olive put down her scissors carefully and marched out the door. She took one bus and two buses. Where is she going? She got there just in time. Santa was checking his list for the second time. Elves were busy helping the reindeer and loading the sleigh with presents for all the good girls and boys, and everyone was ready to go. So Olive took her place. Santa noticed that there was a little dog in the lineup. Santa knew a lot about dogs. For instance, they can't fly. But as it was time to go, he decided to give Olive a chance. Comet, the biggest reindeer, used a piece of extra ribbon to make sure that Olive was tied in safe and tight. Now they were ready to go. Olive was surprised at how easy it was to fly. Where's Olive? That's right. She's hanging. <laughs> the other reindeer were very curious about their new helper. They looked at Olive so much, they weren't watching where they were going. Uh-oh. Olive was distracting the reindeers. And so... Crash! They flew smack into the top of a tall tree. Oh dear, said Santa, my sleigh is stuck in this tree. I'll have to cut it free. Olive clung to the side of the tree. She tried to fly up to help Santa, but she could not. She climbed up slowly and started chewing. Chewing sticks was something that Olive could do well. My dog can chew good sticks too. Thank you, Olive, said Santa Claus, as they got back on their way. Oh, good thing Olive knew how to do that. They had not traveled far when Olive's nose began to twitch. Olive smelled trouble. It was the smell of gumdrop candies as they fell from the sleigh. Drop, drop, drop. Olive barked, and Santa knew what to do. He got out a big thing. A big container and plop plop they fell in there. He steered the reindeer down and around so all of the gun gumdrops fell plop 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 back into the toy sack. Very good. Good job Santa. We were very lucky to not lose a single gumdrop thought Olive and then she heard a strange sound. It was the musical note 
She spun around on her string to see the night sky filled with falling flutes. Olive had to howl louder than the wind instruments. This was not music to Santa's ears. First gumdrops and now flutes, thought Santa. That tree must have torn a hole in my sled. Prepare for an emergency landing, Santa instructed. The sleigh landed in a snowy field full of flutes. Luckily, Olive was very good at fetching sticks. It is something dogs love to do. My dog also loves to do that. Before Santa had finished patch patching a hole in the sleigh, Olive had returned each and every flute back to the sack. Ho, 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 said Santa, we're ready to go. They were running late. They had a lot of mistakes, so they were running a little bit late. But after a while, all the good children received their presents and Santa and his team headed home. Can you see that? That's good. They were almost home when they got caught in the dreaded North Pole fog. The reindeer slowed down until it was only the breeze that moved them along. The fog was as thick as a pillow. It made everyone feel sleepy. Then Santa remembered something about dogs. They are expert smellers. This is true. Olive, I'd hate to be late for breakfast this year, he said. Mrs. Claus has planned a parade of cookies. Mmm, mmm, you can almost smell them, can't you? And Olive could smell the cookies. Olive, won't you guy my sleigh this morning? asked Santa. Olive moved to the front of the reindeer. They are really good smellers. Thanks to Olive's nose and Mrs. Claus baking, they made it all the way back to the North Pole. And all of the elves sang out a cheer. Hooray, hooray! Santa and the reindeer and the little doggy are back. Back at the North Pole, it was a glorious morning eating lots of good food. It was time to open presents. The reindeer got jump ropes and the elves got toy trains. And Santa reached into his toy sack and there was just one present left. It was for Olive. It was her very own set of reindeer antlers and they fit perfectly. Then everyone went out say, outside to play reindeer games. The end. What a good story. That's nice. Olive the other reindeer. Thanks for playing along with me. And you, um, you have a good day. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.